Oh, there you are. Yay. Hello. <laughs> Oh my god. That was easy this time. Yay. Last time it wasn't so easy. How is everyone? Hey guys, how are you? Hey. Are you Hold on, I need to fix my camera set up. Oh, you're fine. You take your time. How are everybody doing? Sorry, I'm just washing down some lunch. I should say almost dinner. We eat lunch, wow. I've been doing intermediate fasting where you like yeah. wait 16 hours before meals or between meals. And it works great because I'm not really a hungry person in the morning anyway, but um, yeah, I've been doing that. It's been a lot of fun starving. I'm kidding. Actually, I said I'm not really hungry until late in the afternoon anyway, so it's working pretty good. I feel good. Yeah. How are you feeling, Z? I'm trying to figure out my setup. I have a stack of books next to my bed, and I think... Come on, Neil Hoglund, come through. They're all poetry books. Damn it. There they go. <laughs> well, last time I noticed when I watched the playback, like... Half my face was cut off like this, so I think I'm better now. Yeah. Back, I hope. Let me see. Hold on. Um, maybe you can copy up again from a plant stand. I swear. I had this all figured out before I started, and then all of a sudden it's like, nope. In the meantime, hope everybody's having a great <laughs> day. Hope everybody's well. Um, I received quite a few really awesome pieces so I hope everybody's excited to hear um, while she's working on her setup I will just um, see who's logging in your chin is a little cut off which one uh, you I think it. see the problem with me is that I have my little setup here where I have my phone and my light because I have light behind me I'm in my um, living space, my living room, as you can see all this light. Like, I uh, have that's nice. So if I don't have a light in front of me, which I do, you can't see me. I'm literally just like, oh, a blur. Um, but my issue is that my... I'm dying. I might have to switch glasses. Okay. We should be fine now. Doing good? Yeah. Let me see if these work better. My nerdier ones. I have really cute ones and I have some really nerdy ones. <laughs> I might be a little bit cut off the like my book like, head, but I can't really do anything about it right now. So. <laughs> so can you guys see me better now? <laughs> I'm wearing okay. my nerdier glasses so that I can read better. Yeah. I don't know they have time at trust. But I'm not going out there in Cootieville. We just... Oh, dirty room. There was 20,000 people infected in my area. So I'm like... <laughs> Holy cow. That I was a lot. Perfect, Indiana. Oh, yay. Thanks, Rappin. Thanks, girl. Thanks, girl. Um... Yeah, so I just went to Whole Foods the other night and got the shit scared out of me, honestly. It's like you get so anxious going out in public right now. It's really scary. Yeah. And then, you know how, well, I go to Whole Foods because, honestly, it's really expensive, but it's the safest place to go because they cracked down. They only let a few people in at a time here in my area in Los Angeles, California, and they're very, very, like, on it. Everybody's masked, gloved, like, you name it. They take every precaution. And um, I go there, and I don't feel that bad. But this dude walks up to me, and he starts asking me about shit in my cart. And, like, what's this and that? And I'm like, dude, you need to back up. <laughs> I didn't say that. Oh, man. It was very nice. It was very, it was very nice. 
but I was slowly backing away as he was talking to me. So, but he wouldn't take the hint. So finally, I just walked away in a little conversation, and then I felt like really like guilty that I was mean. Whatever. Oh no! What you got to do, man? It's what it is. Yeah. I have the, like the setup. I've got the big three M mask thing because my husband is friends with someone in, con- in a, a contractor, and. Um, they literally these masks are so super that they like they suck all the the moisture out of your face and out of your throat. So when you take it off and you're done and you're already anxious and just like a mess, you literally can't breathe. Yeah. But anyway, that was my experience shopping. So now that you have your setup going, um, hmm. do you want to start and read the pieces that we were not able to read last time in your reading? That yeah. Was- yeah, I can do that. Okay. Yeah, so I have... Oopsies. These posts. And today's been very crazy for me. Like, lots of things going on. Ugh. I feel you. <laughs> Drinking my vodka again. Just mm-hmm. kidding. This is just water. Okay, so the first one that I have is by E. Droderick Poetry. The caption says, flow like water, you have all you need inside you. Go inward, ask, and it is given. That's nice. So it doesn't have the title, but I'm very excited to read it. I choose to flow like water soft and subdued, neither completely smooth nor choppy, present with its many varied forms, with the ease of a million experiences of the same nature, I choose to not be afraid to pause, to sit with life, to contemplate, I assimilate eventually with the ease time always provides integrating the many forms before me, expressed by the source itself, allowing myself to take in the oneness of myself from the oneness of all, then ready to digest no reacting necessary, having given myself time to study deep in the flow, crafted response, not crafted after all, but received with eagerness from myself and the highest above, one and the same, with neither force or flood, but gentleness. Rain never struggles to fall. I fall with ease. I fall with love. Awesome. Yeah, I love the simplicity of the description. Don't you love those pieces that, like, give you hers? They make you, like, feel. Those are the pieces, man, that make you feel, and I love that. Um, so, as everyone knows and has seen for themselves, IG is so jam-packed with every human being on the planet. It's become super pop, obviously. <laughs> and lots of people on, so it's really slow for me right now and I'm literally which I should not be uh, right by my freaking router and I should not be right here because I'm sure everyone's heard about the whole 5G bullshit and all that's really not good for you <clears throat> and there's already 5G towers like throughout our area so that's kind of scary because literally it's like microwaves <laughs> they're microwaving us <laughs> it's not bad enough they send a virus out they're now microwaving us that's so, fun. Things are moving a little slower for me, but um, like occasionally if I go into my messages to see who sent me my pieces, it's not showing up. So it's really ticking me off here. Uh, if it's okay, I'll go ahead and read the, the last piece. Yes, of please, please do. Please do. Okay. Going. Oh. Yeah, wasn't it beautiful? Oh my gosh, it was so good. Um, 
Extensiveness of always. Um, this is extensiveness as always. Quarantine using day eleven. Also, sorry, it's like my face cuts off. Again, it's a weird setup right now. I am learning that the shadows of the moon can never dim the brightness of the sun. But yesterday's promises are not fresh enough for today. That notes to know that he leaves my heart still empty. That sunshine is enough for my heart to live on. That before I am noble, I must be at peace. That somber solos can blaze trails to hope. That out of the most abnormal of deviations can grow a new routine. But my self-portrait does not have to meet anyone's standards, not even my own. That life is beautiful enough to be worth waiting for. Love that. Expansiveness of always. Oh, it says, we used prompts, notes to nobody, sunshine, self-portrait, noble standard deviation, shadows of the moon. Oh, this is the prompties. Hey, Sonder Solo. Waiting for you in yesterday's promises. Wow, that is really well written with all those prompts. So I have some people I know that they won't mind me reading their pieces. Um, Because for some reason right now, I don't know why it's not letting me go into my messages. Uh, hold on, I have a bunch now all of a sudden. Maybe that's why. Maybe because I'm getting so many at once, I can't, like, go down, please. Feel free to send in my way, too. And at writing tones in the dark. Okay, well, right now, I know I can do one because it's, like, the one that I have pulled up. And her name is Smiling... S M I L I N G through high, and the piece is called "I Wonder," and it's really cool. She's a very cool writer. I really dig her stuff. She just sent it to me. Um, it's the first um, one that popped up, and I had it on my page already, which is why I'm going to read it now. Um, because I can't get into my messages yet. I will get there though. I promise. I wonder about you often when I'm alone and I can't sleep. I wonder what you're doing now and what company you keep. I wonder about my blue-soled shoes that I gave you to replace your own. I wonder, do you wear them now in the distant realms you roam? I wonder about your lack of faith. Were you wrong or were you not? I wonder if where you are, have only the bad times been forgot? I wonder if you know now for all that you've been forgiven. I wonder how much I'd be willing to give, only once more just to listen to the stories you told of times of old and the things that happened there. I wonder if you know I loved the man from God knows where. Isn't that awesome? Oh, that's lovely. Did you hear that squealing? Those are my guinea pigs. Oh, hey, guinea pigs. <laughs> this room, but if they hear anyone that opens a plastic bag because they think it's greens or, like, veggies, they flip. That was an amazing piece, Smiling from High. Smiling it was. High. Oh, my gosh, so good. Um, I think I read one of her pieces last time as well, and it was so beautiful. Oh, my gosh. And I think I remember the piece. Yes, I remember. It was so good. She is so good. She is an amazing writer. If you are not following her, you should be smiling through high, and at the end, it's two eyes. H I I. She's so good. Yeah, we'll put up the, the post later after t- with everyone who's read today. Um, go ahead. Okay, I have poems by Lyra. And this is one that she just sent me. Cool. 
It's called Number 59. A pinch of courage, a clover of patience, a cut of honor, a drop of family, a quarter of self-care, a shaving of pride, a trim of hard work, a twist of humor, a recipe for life. Oh, that's nice. I like the last line, how it like wraps it all together. I love when a uh, piece that, that ends with that punch. I yeah. Think I think everybody does. We, we love the pieces that move us and make us feel. And, um, there it is. Oh, lovely. Thank you for sending that in, Lyra. Yes, thank you. That was lovely. Aha! I was able to get into one of mine. <laughs> um, this writer is um, amazing. She writes really cool, out of the box pieces, and it's funny because you'll you'll see where I went with that joke when I read it. <laughs> I try and be funny, guys. I'm so not. Um, it's Mikey Hendrix. Oh, yay. I know that name. Well, she's awesome. An empty room is a box left vacant because no soul resides within. Barren until curious eyes peek in. Light reflects hitting every wall and corner. They long for a presence to hold long shadows cast across complete one unfulfilled purpose. Capture the soul that steps inside fills the space to the ceiling with aura. This body sheds a warm imprint till it glides out, leaves the room cold, empty, and waiting. Till it glides out, leaving, leaves the room cold, empty, and waiting. I love that. And the picture that she did it on is literally this barren white room with this huge window and just a dull white mattress on the floor. So when you're reading the piece and then you're looking at the, the photograph, the picture, you really get a feel for what she's talking about. That's awesome. You know, the shadows cast across complete one unfulfilled purpose, capture the soul that steps inside, fills the space to the ceiling with aura. Just some amazing lines in this piece. Really loved it. Awesome, Michelle. Mikey Hendrix, amazing. Love that. Nice. That was beautiful. It was beautiful. Um, like I said, I know there are some people who won't mind me reading some of their stuff. Um, because literally, for some reason, my um, I can't get into anything past a certain point on my messages. So I am going to read... Oh. This one scares me. I'm going to read um, Midnight Usings, Anna. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> it's an amazing piece. It's like a genius piece. And it's one that, of course, like Robin will write a piece sometimes where I've got to get out the supports. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yes, Robin. What is up with it? of them she writes stuff that makes my mind go like this and i'm like where does she come up with this stuff where do you um, like how do you pronounce any of the, the words that you write robin using <laughs> underscore rt is her name her name is anna she's incredible beautiful writer and it is a bit of a tongue twister so i really am sorry if i trip on some of these <laughs> trying to like loosen up <laughs> doing my little exercises so I don't screw it up <sighs> I stay sheltered in the shadows seeking solace from the shallows of a world lacking compassion where disparaging is fashion where the only light emitted is the glare of sins committed against nature and each other reparations scarcely uttered where a gregorious greed is greater than the trust in a creator and the demons of obsession 
lead to covetous oppression, where authentic admiration is renounced as aberration and unwavering affection aims to camouflage subjection. Don't freeze up for me now. Hold on, guys, sorry. Where self-serving aspirations sanction crude adulterations and all truths are pure inventations made to serve our own intentions, where we wallow in delusions of hypocrisy illusions, and we stand in condemnation, but assume our exaltation, and purblind to our transgressions, never needing of redemption, when they pray for our salvation with mendacious supplication, while we worship worldly idols, living servile in denial, seeking solace in the shadows. I'm sorry, seeking solace in the shallows, shunning those among the shadows. Wowzers. That is a tongue twister. I know. <laughs> <laughs> and I did it until the end. <laughs> you you did it. Her stuff is nuts. Amazing. Just really great stuff. And um I really admire her as a writer and I learn a lot from her. And I learn a lot from a lot of the writers um on here like you guys have taught me so much. Because like I said, when, you know, I, we did our first um, reading, I was a songwriter and I wrote short stories and I fell into this a year ago and it's been like the trippiest, most amazing thing ever. I love it. I love it now. Um, so what you got for me? What you got um, for me? I have a piece by C. Nathan Wrights. Okay. I dream of the future where I'm no longer running from the knots that form in my stomach and the inner screens that drown out every thought that tells me that I'm capable. A future that I'm walking on the dry land of paradise with you by my side instead of drowning in the depths of the molasses sea hand in hand with you. Alongside you drowning almost seems easy. I dream of a future that my body can remain wrapped within yours inside our sheets, within our walls, and there will be no alarms to separate my heart beating against yours. I want to dance into a future within the warmth of your embrace to the melodic rhythms of our lovemaking. I want to share a space of our own, a space where I can watch the ever so slight curve of your lips while you dream with me cradled in your arms. I want to get lost in a euphoric wave that take over my body from each of my inhales that are sweetly and heavily scented of you. I want to spend the, the rest of my days until I'm wrinkled and gray, staring up at the indigo sky with you by my side. Beneath the moon, I forever promise my lips to you. Blindly, we stumbled into each other's lives, but with my eyes and heart wide open, I'm running towards my future with you in our own little paradise. Your Medusa, you e maiden. Woo! Ooh, I love the love letters. Amazing piece. Who was that? C Naden writes. C underscore Naden underscore writes. Okay. Very cool. I just got a piece in. Thank God you guys are sending it to me right now. Yeah. My page just cut off and I can't get down. I don't know. I think I got whacked with a lot of messages at once and now it's a little on overload. But these are on top, so um, you're lucky. You're lucky, you're lucky. All right, this chick is awesome. I have read her, source, her stuff. We follow each other. Um, she re reads some of my stuff. I read some of her stuff. She's great. Death-scented roses growing without tame. Always found in shattered hearts, creeping through warmed veins. But child, have they told you? It'll one day drive you insane. 
that garden of pure hate you've been watering with your pain. Leona Poetry. L-E-O-N-A Poetry. That's her handle. She's really good. That was amazing. Mm -hmm. I loved that last line. That garden of pure hate you've been watering with your pain. Ugh. Man, so poignant. Ain't that the truth? Isn't that what we all do? Anything new, Z? I have a piece. Uh, I think it got cut off by Woodhouse Tracy. Woodhead Tracy, sorry. Um. Weep. Just waiting for the last little bit because it looks like I really want to read this piece. Wow. Um, um, I all of a sudden got a lot of stuff sent, so um, I'm having a hard time getting into some of my messages, but I can read one real quick while you're looking if you want. Yeah, go for it. Jaw Word. I got a piece from him. J-A-H word. She dances in the December rains and all the dark panes of the past wash clean. A moisture movement, dreamlike scene, doused in the drip drop gleam of her water dance dream. She dances over wet light beams and teems with a renewed refreshing. She is December's rain dance dancing a wet prancing in the peak night pouring, her pale skin silk like lightning, seeping through sight, I'm sorry, seeping through sight like the sunlight shining. She swings her soul and soothes all want of healing and calms December's rain with her rainbow feeling. Now all the dark pains of the past wash clean and I weep at the scene of her water dance dream. That was awesome. Wow. Jaw word. That was really good. Wasn't that so good? All of these pieces are good. Like, all the, thank God everybody's like throwing these at me because um, I can't get. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I have my piece. All of it. Okay. By Woodhead Tracy. Yay, yay, yay. Whoopsies. Sorry. A whole new world. Do not the roads look lonesome and the streets look bare, yet a thousand or more stars decorate the sky. Songs from birds greet me Greet my morning instead of cars rushing by. Refreshingly, a new dawn now brings delight. There's not too many clouds, neither mist upon the hills. My eyes have never been so thrilled. Have you tasted the air of late? Just stand outside and breathe. Never has it tasted so sweet, so pure, so real. So many arguments, so much rage. Who knew a virus spreading like the plague? could lift hearts in each nation to combine, unite. Artists supporting artists instead of trying to compete. People actually caring where they place their feet. Families checking in each day to make sure all is well. Trying to memorize each face in video calls. Realizing all they took for granted and dying for the chance to hug those they loved just one moment more. Nurses and doctors, careers and health, carers and helpers, finally treat right, given the recognition they much deserve, and the thanks for saving lives through the, during these times. Amen. Really like that tribute piece. That is a really nice tribute piece. Wow. Yeah, right now we really have to um, put our hands up and thank all of our care workers and um, 
it's a scary time to be a um, caregiver right now. It's really scary. Doctors and nurses and um, the people that are just donating their time even. It's sparse, but it's happening and people are coming together and it's beautiful. So mm -hmm. we give thanks for that and be grateful, that's for sure. Um, okay, so um, okay, so this guy that I have followed for a while, and he is amazing, and he gave me permission to read one of his stories. And I was going to read, and I'm still going to read a piece of his on my Purge Your Story Time, which I do once a week, but um, I'm going to read one of his stories now because he is absolutely nuts with these stories. He is an incredible storyteller. Um, his name is and I hope I pronounce it properly, is Noah Elohim or Elohim. Noah, N-O-A-H-E-L-O-W-Y-N. Either Noah Elohim or Noah Elohim, I'm not sure which. Um, but he is an amazing storyteller and he's written books, he does book covers. Um, he's an incredible writer and you're about to hear one of his, one of my favorite stories of his that I love. Anyway, here it goes. Make sure that this is working before I start, which it's not. So it's how it's All right. The crowd was large, around 100 people or so. Aaron opened the gates. Welcome to the endless menagerie. I will be your guide. Her amiable gaze faded into a sharp glare. Some of you brought children. That's irresponsible. Here we feed and protect the last specimens of myriad species, all of which are larger than myths. In other words, these are immemorial creatures, apex predators. It is true that those who work here are powerful wizards and witches, myself included, but still, many visitors have perished. Our man is only so strong, and so I behave. Understood? The crowd shared a word skin's look, but they all wound up trailing behind Darren. Why do you wear a plate in your head? The kid asked Aaron. It's a magic plate, Aaron said. She turned to the horizon. You will see Blob. He's a salamander the size of ten dragons. As you can deduce, that's of each animal, and we keep them all free. This means if Blob comes and I keep him under and I can't keep him under control. You should run for your lives. There was an odd silence among the crowd. All faces were ashen, distraught. That's quite the strange reaction. Endless salamander was barreling toward the crowd at tremendous speeds. And the kid she had spoken to moments ago was running toward Blob. Oh, that explains it. Well, I told you to keep your kids in check. It's too late to act. The ground trembled. The throng shouted. Blob rolled over. The kid petted his endless belly. A fish the size of a palm appeared on Aaron's plate. She flung it to Blob. The fish grew to enormous sizes as it traveled through the air to the point where Blob had at least tests before finishing it. You can pet Blob, Aaron said. He's a friendly giant. I can't say the same of the winged lion, though. So from now on, truly, keep your children's soul. Isn't that awesome? <laughs> oh, that's great. No, he is such an amazing storyteller, and that piece was really a, a beautiful little cute. It was something that you could even, you know, you could read children. Yeah. Um, his pieces aren't like that. Some of them are very because they're all very mystic. Are pretty like they've got some gore in there and they've got some stuff. So. You literally go on his page, like I said, his handle is Noah Halloween, and you can literally find anything. And he does everything, writes books, he does book covers. Anyway, he was, he's amazing, and that piece was just nuts. Like, I love that story of his. I love it has a very, um, like, world ball-esque yeah. to it, like, like the twitches First, or something. Yeah. Loves that. 
I have a piece by Stacy Coventry. This is Stacy Coventry is here. Supernova. Let's do that in this action, not so long. Okay. Supernova. You kissed a cloud to reach me in the heaviness of the sky. Washed away a dream to exist in the infinity of the sky. Resurrected the bones of the cosmos through electrons adore your power. Emergent day photons with you through gay's finest hour. When love believed in our fairy tales of atomic weights and measures, she gifted the land with Venus's glow for lovers and scholars to treasure. The trail of white sand and shell nestled in a sleepy haze. We shared a dance before our nights were lost in, a, in an eternity of days. As the sun warmed beyond the cold first breath of morning light, we perished behind the well, the veil, the virtuous light. That's pretty. That is really pretty. I can't hear anything. Hmm. Let's see. I think, can, can you hear me at all? No. Okay. Um, let me check. Oops. And you know, I still can't hear anyone. Oh, you can hear. Okay. Um, that's weird. Oh, yeah, apparently. Leaving and then the alchemy dock. Let's see if that works out better. I can hear you now. Can you hear me? I can hear. Can you hear me? Yep. Yay! Perfect. Yay! Yeah. That was mm. terrible. I couldn't hear the last poem I read. But I mean, as long as everyone else heard. Um, so, who did you just read? That was Stacy Coventry. Is here. She's so great. I love her stuff. I didn't get to yeah. hear it. Sorry, Stacy, but I will read this. I couldn't hear. And some people can hear me. Um, all right. Welcome to my life. So, from Ninja Poetica. And the name of the piece is Tolerance. You give me the st Guy, suspicious I might be infected. I can only hope you catch what I have, and mm -hmm. may your mind and the panic it has caused. I haven't forgotten we're all human, and fear is the worst of our flaws. I understand where you're coming from, and I brush it off with a smile and find its way back into style. Put on your mask. And gloves, do what you need to do. But don't forget you aren't alone. We're all human too. Just because you can't tell by my expression, it doesn't mean I do not care. I don't feed into the fear. I don't have the energy to spare. 
All I can do is smile and silently wish you well. Perhaps one day you'll return it when we've beaten this pandemonious hell. Tolerance. That was really good. Oh, good. By Ninja Poetica. Yeah, seriously. I'm um, going through this piece some crazy lines i understand where you're coming from and i brushed off with a smile you know we are we're, we're all paranoid and we're all looking at each other funny when we, when we do have to go out of our bubbles and so you know getting this crap pandemonium is a really good word yeah i love that um we've been beaten we've when we've beaten this pandemonium is hell. And we will. We will beat it. We will overcome. We will survive. Um, yeah, that was awesome, Ninja Poetica. Thank you for sending me that. It was lovely. I have another one. What you got, Z? Uh, I have the ones that I found, but none that I have in a sense, so I can read one that I have just hanging around. Okay, cool. So this one I found um, a few days ago. Her name is S. Wallace Poetry. And I just love her writing. It's very ethereal. Okay. What if, what if I told you the moon wasn't a hideaway place, nor a personal journal for which your heart pours out, revealing indescribable pain. She is merely another celestial bundled and amongst a blanket of gas and dust. She too is crying her heart out for the sun, doesn't shine for her alone. He will not extend an arm and attempt to wipe her tear-painted cheeks. The crater depths to their heart, the blood beyond her core. Still, we expect her to listen and wipe the fear and despair from ours. The soulmate is someone who has that walk key fit, and for Luna and her beloved soul, we are simply their middle ground beyond Earth's door. So good. So good. That was S. Wallace poetry. Amazing. Beautiful piece. Yeah, I really like how um, it puts you in the shoes of the moon as like having feelings and sure. empathy for the moon. It's not a perspective that you would ordinarily think about, so that was cool. Hope I don't get hiccups. I've been having bouts of hiccups, and I do not know why. So if I get them, I'm so sorry. I will just hiccup right now. <laughs> you good. <laughs> sorry, I won't. I'll stop it. I'll just, like, hold my breath until I turn blue. It's fine. Anyway. Okay. So I have a piece from Scotch and Scars. And it looks really cool. I have not read it yet, so. We're broken in different ways, but at the same places. My cracks don't fit yours, and we're not perfect puzzle
I can't hear you. Can anyone hear Amanda? Can anyone hear me? I don't know. Amanda! I, I can't hear you. I understood that. Okay. Again. It's kind of funny because I'm I'm deaf and and really good at reading lips, but sometimes, sometimes. I think we have you again. Z, can you hear me? I can hear you. What the hell? <laughs> Anything I was reading? Could they? It's the just one, one of those days. Now? You hear the last? You hear the last piece that I read? I know it cut off like right around like the middle part. Right. Really good. So I'm gonna have to read it again. We're broken in degrees, but at the same places. My cracks don't fit yours, and we are not perfect puzzle pieces. But your love heals me. It seeps into the cracks and gives me strength. Our tears don't flow the same, but we're both good at hiding them, just not from each other. We are both killers. Doesn't matter what dies, does it? Fears, memories, ourselves a little bit. We both breathe rage at times. Yeah, we have posters up on the wall and ice packs on our knuckles. But holding your hand, I can walk through wars unscathed. Both lost. We don't know where we are or where we're going. But if it's with you, being lost seems easier. We are bitches. Fighting out alone, but standing together. Perfect respects. Drunk on the idea that if puzzles are made to be solved, we'll be the last fucking people. Did you hear me? Yeah. You're pixelating. Okay, no, cool. No. <laughs> Did everybody the writer die, please? Just check. Okay. Yeah, it's very yeah, like so. writer die. Yeah, totally. Dig oh, no. You're welcome. Is it frozen? They said thank you. That was very sweet. Um, I know what a piece I would like to read. Um, I don't have anyone else. Feel free to send me work. Um, Got it. I'm um, going to hang out here. No sound. Really? No sound for who? Uh, All these little glitches. Can you still hear me okay? I can hear you. Can you hear okay, me? Okay, good. Yes, perfectly. Okay. Go on. Keep sending them in, guys, because... Um, I'm only, it's, for some reason, it's not letting me go past certain points. Oh. E. I hate that. It's bullshit. Sorry. I personally. Oh, it's okay. F bombs. And every other bomb. What I do. <laughs> okay. So. so since can't get into all of my, um, I'm gonna read one of. They really are. 
What? The Insta Gods are messing with us tonight. Ugh. Yeah, I gotta read some of these. Insta Gods are messing with you. Yeah, they are. They really are. It's like. But I've been I'm talking to so many people that are having the same issues. It's because we are being. It's inundated completely. Um, we're jam packed, people. We're jam packed. Um, this piece from sorry the poetry oh, yeah. is just amazing Sinead she's amazing um, I'm going to see if I can get into it because uh, I have to make sure I can read it first alright she, she, I always ask before I read her piece she said I could last time so I'm assuming she doesn't mind um, because she's a sweetheart and she's a friend, so and her pieces are just nuts. Mm. They're so good. In the aching night of abstraction, what was left for me to hold? Hands now transparent, smooth crimson dreams upon a heart that twists and throbs. The gift of love basking in the blooms reaches for your longing touch. Kisses still sweet with nectar licking delicate honeydew. Implore my eyes in sublet's ways to gaze within the depths of you. Sorry guys, I got uh, hope not. To gaze within the depths of you, bodies arching to hungry mouths insatiable devour hidden parts of us. Alas, centuries have passed. You are lost in the hidden earth. I cast fresh flowers upon your grave. Weave garlands under a sky of dreams. Lost taste insipid upon my tongue. What is left for me to hold? In the aching night of abstraction, petals wither, leaves drift to dark. Uh, wow. I know. Definitely a... Uh, Powerful piece of tear driven there. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. The work. She's incredible. Um, got anything, Z? Yes, I had one by the Bird Bones Project. It's Jeff. Also, Yugni. Um, if you have a piece that you want to stream, feel free to send it to. Either me writing Tones in the Dark or Ananda through Chon the Poet. Um, so this is cool. a piece by the Third Bones Project. Just. Ooh, okay. Is it called Close Your Eyes or is that just the first line? Either way, close your eyes. Humor me this humble request, as no debts or favors I hold in lean. These words I give in earnest, and wish only that they fall gently upon your soul invoking passion for the intangible gift of sentience. Close your eyes, close your eyes, dear friend. Feel the warmth of my hand as I take yours and our palms meet in the comforting dark surround. Allow the world to slip away till you and I transcend dimension. Close your eyes. Close your eyes, sweet child, and wear my voice as armor true as I kiss your hair at, at thunder's call, banishing monsters under the underbed with a whispered sweet dream. I pledge to guard the castle walls. Close your eyes. Close your eyes, brazen youth, and taste the day's full measure, savor the mint and cinnamon of wonder and anticipation, while you raise a fist to the wind, grabbing time's tiger tail, close your eyes. Close your eyes, wounded spirits, turn your face skyward to the rain, arms outstretched and drenched, let the cool wash away your strife, as you splash barefoot through emerald green serenity fields, close your eyes. Close your eyes, you dancers, 
Hear the gentle scuff and tap of silk wrapped toes on point that glide across the weathered oak in time with age old dulcet tones that paint the air with languid strokes. Close your eyes. Close your eyes, treasured artists, musicians, and poets alike. The world around you drips with caramel and honey to be savored in Epicurean delight. No no detail regarded without magic, close your eyes. Close your eyes, my daydreamers and midnight screamers, your trickled skin raised electric by intravenous lightning strikes, prismatic light bent to bows, guides unquenchable wanderlust, close your eyes. Close your eyes, my fellow travelers, all you lovers and loners. All you seekers and destroyers, the hopeful and the desperate, close your eyes. All you believers and deceivers, the lost and found, close your eyes. You elegant human souls, close your eyes. Now breathe, breathe deep and fill your cup with a sapphire elixir of awakening and consume the day, not as if it was your last, but as if it was your first. Squeeze the wonderment of it all until it explodes in a sensory supernova and behold the stardust as it falls upon and through you. Open your eyes. Open your eyes. Holy you fuck. That was amazing. Awesome. That was really good. Yeah. Thank you for sending that. Wow. Really amazing. Okay, we have a minute, about a minute remaining. Um, so if we want to, we can go on for a second hour and continue reading the room. If not, we can end it here. Sure, we can come back on. I don't mind. I'm, okay. uh, I've got uh, more pieces here. So, so if you want to, you know, go out and I'll, I'll, I'll join you again and we can read some more. Okay, keep sending your pieces okay. to me, writing poems in the dark, or Amanda, Third Tron the Poet, and we will see you back here soon. Also, thank you for sending that in, Josh. That was amazing. And we'll thank see you, you guys. real soon. Hello. Hey, can you see me and hear me okay? Yep. Okay, so, um, my friend who um, is verified said that the reason that we're having such issues with everything that's going on is, um, of course, obviously everybody's on right now, but there's a lot of lives going on as we're talking. So the more lives that are on as you're on, the harder it's going to be for us to come through. And I'm sure that the same people that are going live right now are having some of the same issues. So that's <laughs> about this. But yeah, there's like four other people lives on my feed right now. Yeah. You no, know, I feel bad. I, I I hate going on when other people are doing their lives. But you know, we we we, we said we were going on, so everybody takes their chances and and goes. Gone There's and, only so many and, hours um, in the day. See what's going on. Exactly. All right. Ready to read. <laughs> I can get my toddler shoved yeah. in the room with my husband. Because I was going to use my daughter's studio again today, <laughs> but um, is actually <laughs> she has been able because she works in our recording her recording studio, I should say. Um, but she has been able to do this whole thing. She's still able to work, but obviously she can't have anyone in the studio because I mean, that's like, I keep like thinking my face is getting cold. Um, she can't have people come in. So people that have some type of a setup and have a decent setup, they can send their information and their, you know, their work into her and she can comp and engineer and do all of it, you know, without having to be in the same room with people. So that's really cool. Mm -hmm. And she is a game.
streamer. She uh, loves games, so okay. she started to stream live. Yeah, she she started streaming cool. live doing crazy games, and she like loves it, and she's become quite popular because <laughs> she's a girl, and she's a yeah. really cute. So uh, you know, you have that goes. You don't get you don't get too many of those. In, uh, don't. Um, really good like she's a really good gamer all right so i have a piece from shades and saints and it's beautiful and i'm going to read it my faith takes to air right words find me for so far my eyes have scoured for so long has my heart kept faith sometimes i need to stumble away from existence to float as if but dust surface surfing across this cosmetic expanse. Nothing I makes me feel certain. Nothing reveals, pulls back curtains. Limping for so long, my stumble now is less graceless. Walking blind for so long, my wandering is no longer faithless. I believed I was a river racing to find my ocean, to leap into and be at peace. But now I'm older, hurt like a soldier, and I finally see. I am that ocean, all rivers empty into me. Let yourself unravel, gather back your tattered bits. All the stream that was you, unweave yourself, take a breath, awaken something new. That's beautiful. I know I say that after other tone, but like, I, I love it. <laughs> That was just gorgeous. Thank you so much for sending that piece. It was beautiful. Um, I don't know if they're on anymore. I really hope they are, but I don't know mm. if they are. They can um, see the replay because that was just a beautiful piece. And I really love, love their work. Just gorgeous. Got it. Um, what you got? Oh, I don't have anything right now. Oh, okay. Um, I can find something as usual. I America. could read the tag. I'm sorry? Yeah, I, could. I could read the, the thesis and then it's the Jan Nun Gown tag. That's a good idea. Let me check that out. You can read one of yours if you want, Z. Oh. Okay, sure. Here's <laughs> girl. Yeah. You're great. Read one. Let's go through life being and hmm. I'll read one of mine if you read one of yours. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah, Cynthia sent something. Okay, okay. Um, I'm just gonna take something randomly. I don't know. No, nope, not that one. Uh, sure, this is called Instructions on How to Love Me. One, I don't like being touched, but sometimes I need a hug. And by hug, I mean I need to feel safe in arms that won't let me go. Hold me tight. Let me rest my head on your chest. There is so much heaviness in my bones still. Please, don't let me go. 2. Give me a reason to debate the fundamentals of our existence. Read me articles about the space race and the cotton candy planets and melting galaxies we haven't explored yet. Tell me what you think happens to us when we die, and I'll offer you my theory on our connectivity to stardust after death. Talk to me about the God you believe in. Show me how you pray. Does your God hear you? 3. My confidence is a lie. If you're the complimenting type, be ready to back it up with reason. Please forgive me when I ask you for the hundredth time. Can you tell me why you love me? I'll try my best to take it to heart, but my trust has been a shaky thing from the start. I am still learning how to nurture the seed of self-love. 
come be the sun and watch me bloom. Four, bear in mind that my body is constantly simultaneously in a state of emergency and tiredness. I won't always be able to keep up with you. Go on ahead, I'll catch up soon. Hold out your hand to keep me steady. Please don't get mad when I'm not ready to process what I'm moving. I will teach you patience if you let me. Five, in the event that you decide you want to take a chance on me, my door is always open. Respect will get you in. Pity will kick you out. Love me like you finally discovered the euphoria of being alive. Be an authentic you, and I'll be an authentic me. Love my flaws, my quirks, love me gently, love me kindly, and I might just stay here with you, at least for a little while. That was awesome. Thanks. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, that was really, really cool. I love that. Beautiful. Real deal. Oh, Real thank deal. you. These sound as... Okay, sounds right. Okay, so... Um, there are people in the room that I think might want to be read. So, I'm to look up a couple people, but first I'll read. You read one of yours, so I'll show you mine. <laughs> I'll show you mine. Um, <laughs> this was one I wrote this morning, and I posted it. And... It. It's it's good that I'm reading it because uh -huh. I wrote kind of a longer piece and I squashed it down into one page. And of course, I always leave it on the bottom, but um, it's sort of microish in its in its form. Yeah. And it is, um, yeah. you know, don't quit. Alone, hot wind blows, cracked, chapped lips, thirst can't be quenched. Burning, blistered feet from the miles behind me, can't stop now, have to keep moving. Trudging is slowing, but I will keep going. Has it been days, weeks, or years? Filling the dirt tracks with fingertips tracing my tears. Reaching the fork in the road to heaven or hell. Exhaustion hidden, I sit for a spell. Can't sit long or I'll never move again. The vultures above me, hovering, smothering, waiting to descend. I stand and walk. Is it ever going to end? I've reached my destination. Which way, left or right? Blinded, can't see the sun so bright, such brilliant light. A cool hand takes mine, a cup of cold water down my throat, the feeling sublime. I am renewed. I didn't have to choose. Looking into the eyes of an angel smiling, knowing I've had a hard, hard towing. The voice of heaven saying, you've been through enough. The road you tra tracked was already tough. Through hell you did your best. You passed the test. You earned your rest. Why was I tested? Many times I was bested. Sometimes I would fall. Sometimes I would trip. Yes, but you got up again and you never did quit. I like that. Thank you. Did you, that was did you just, say you posted this? What? Did you say you posted this already or no? Right, yeah. Um, I basically was like, you know, all the pieces that I'm reading, I feel like we're all kind of lurking and murking and, and feeling like we're in our own little, I mean, either a hell of our own making or hell of someone else's making. Because us being quarantined and stuck in our bubbles right now, sometimes we are with people that we don't want to be with. Now, I'm not talking about myself, because I'm blessed to have a wonderful family. And there are others that I do know here that I've made friends with, and there are friends that I do know 
they're literally stuck in their bubbles with people that they don't get along with either you know their situation is dysfunctional or they have an abusive relationship going on or there's you know they're being driven absolutely bonkers by their children so everyone right now is going through a little bit of their hell at times you know we all try and stay positive and keep a positive mindset and stay and stay light and 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 I'm hoping I mean, that's what everyone's doing, you know, reading that alcohol consumption and drug abuse is up and all of that. It's a given. They're going to do whatever they have to do to feel good. Um, I just drink gads and gads of tea. And I, yeah. and the whatever works. <laughs> but it's legal <laughs> here in California. Go to any dispensary and have it delivered to my front door, which is pretty freaking awesome, I must say. That's nice. It is real yeah. nice. Okay. <laughs> At the beginning of all of this, my um, my therapist said that you know it's not a bad thing if you turn to video games right now, like if you need to, just it's like get Animal Crossing, play video games for six hours. It's okay. And yeah. I was like thinking about, oh man, if this happened when I was like a teenager and my parents telling me to get off the internet and stuff, how the, how the tables turn. <laughs> oh no, that's the thing. That's another article reading. It was like this doctor was saying, now is not the time to tell your children to get the hell off the computer. If yeah. you need your time, because of the, of the caregivers, you need to be safe. So if the way you do it is by letting your children watch their favorite shows, watch movies, play video games, play, you know, their iPads, whatever, let them do it right now. Now is the time. Now is the big, I feel even terrible saying it like this because there's so much scary shit going on and people are losing their lives. But in a way for the children, it's almost like a vacation from school, but then they start to feel it because they're being cooped up. And here in California, they just opened the beaches and which was, in my opinion, absolutely freaking ridiculous. I was like, what? what? And our governor has been so amazing. And I've been like, shit, this guy should run for president. He's so great. And now I'm like, are you kidding me? So I really? really saw pieces of it and I'm like, these idiots, they're at the beach and they're not social distancing. No one's covering their face. So with 20,000 people already in our area already having this shit, our numbers are just going to keep climbing and it affects everyone. And the selfishness and the centeredness of it just really gets my goat, which is why <laughs> whenever I get a chance, I blast people. I put people on blast. I'm sorry. It's how I feel. There is a time when we need to get the hell out of the house. Get the fuck out. You know, go out on your front porch, go in your backyard, take a walk in your neighborhood. Just put something on your face, you know, just abide by the rules. And these people aren't doing that. If, now, if I had seen a picture of the people at the beach and they had covered in their face and they were staying apart from each other to a point, I'd be like, cool, you know, that's okay. But they're not doing that, and that is uncool, and it's not right, and they need to be, they need to be checked on their shit, because that's not, that's not okay. That's not okay. It's not okay that you're endangering the lives of other people, and it's not okay that people are endangering your lives. So be smart. Just be freaking smart, yeah. you know? Common sense tells you if there is fucking cooties out there, excuse my French, excuse my F-bomb, put something over your face and have to protect yourself and protect others. It's the right thing to do. Sorry, chair for the day. Oh. <laughs> I lecture occasionally. Yeah. Especially when it pissed me off. And it yeah. pissed me off. It did. But I do believe it. That's fair. You know, Want to go for a drive, get in your car, get some sunshine, get some fresh air. You know, we have to go to the grocery stores, things like that. Those are things that we have to do. Um, I think it's really healthy that we're actually have time to talk about this shit because people want to talk about it. And I've had a lot of messages that I freaking can't get into now. People are like, COVID this, COVID that, what, what's going on? How is it in your area? 
And I'm straight up with him. I'm like, look, we are literally not leaving our home. We're not. We're having shit delivered. It was my son's fifth birthday yesterday. And oh, um, happy birthday to him. Thank you, such a sweetheart. And he's so good. He's so good. Because me, as a five-year-old, and my daughters, forget it. Because my, I, I had my youngest when my, okay, my youngest son, who is my youngest now, is five. But I got pregnant with him when my daughter was 18. We've discussed this before. So it's like he's got all these little mommies and, and you know, all of that. But my daughter was brilliant because we could not, not get an Amazon to get. So we were lucky to get a Target run yesterday morning. And before he woke up, we were able to get his presents delivered. So I was like, thank you, Jesus. Thank you. But, um, um, but yeah, it's... Um, Things are crazy in our area, crazy in a lot of other areas. And um, people really need to step up and help out um, the people that need the help. Like if you have a neighbor or a friend that can't get out of the house, you know, what if, you know, they're either, I don't know, disabled. Well, I am an, I'm an IHSS caregiver. I am certified so an elderly or a disabled person needs my help i can go help them but i can't do it right now because of the the covid um and i have to care for my own husband who has parkinson's so i can't take that chance he can't get this shit so it's like mm -hmm. i stuck um everybody feels like they're stuck and it's just going to have to be a period of us doing a lot of things to care for ourselves if we need to read, if we need to write, if we need to take, you know, long baths, if we need to um, watch movies, binge on a Netflix show, get into cross stitching. I don't freaking know. Just, you know, find a fucking hobby is what I'm saying. You know, anything that brings out a passion in you or something you can do for yourself, find it and do it because it's healthy. There's so many things that we can do to, you know, help ourselves be healthier in our minds. Because right now, um, the telehealth appointments are going through the roof for people in therapy sessions. Maybe one of them. Yeah. The um, National well. Suicide Hotline has put out a report that uh, calls are up like 200% yeah. or something like that. And it's um, but in name. politics because we go there, but everyone is bashing the shit out of our president, and I don't like our president. I particularly care for him as a human being. I think he's kind of a narcissistic person. He's very rude. He's very blunt. Um, some people don't like that, but I believe honestly, and this is just my opinion, and a lot of people are going to disagree with me, and that's okay. We can agree to disagree, but I honestly feel that if there was anyone else being our president right now with this shit going on, they'd be in the corner crying. <laughs> and we just happen to have a total asshole as a president. Excuse my French. Sorry, Donald Trump. Um, and he's got brass balls and he's handling the situation. Obviously, he's lying about certain things and you know saying some really dumb shit which is his mo it's what he does but um honestly i don't know of anybody else that could handle all of this stress and i can see you know how you watch a president throughout their 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 span of time and you can see them aging like right in front of your eyes because of the stress i mm -hmm. literally this our president like put on 10 years since all this shit started and he wasn't the most attractive to begin with. God forgive me, I'm so sorry. That was terrible for me to say, I'm so sorry. No, that's Patient. fine. It's a right. safe space. <laughs> so, but, um, yeah. Um, oh, I just got a, a post uh, yeah. from Cosmic Doctor Bunny and oh, Cynthia finally sent, yay! Yay! Okay, I'm, I'm gonna read um, Cynthia's super long piece right now. Cool. Yeah. But. That's all right. 
I haven't pre-read this, just a heads up. Oh, girl, please. The Called queen is upset. Faith comes in strain. Outside my window, an old oak, broad trunked and mountain steady, is showing the first signs of life, becoming ready. Small green buds adorn every limb. My mind is consumed as I take it all in. I wish I knew the age of this old, reliable tree. Year after year, she comes back to me, from what seems so surely like death. As winter takes its due course, only the trunk, the skeleton, branches are left. Branches ta that taper, having grown thin and long, like singers on piano playing their favorite song. Every year, as winter firmly takes hold, I slowly sink into a dark winter, winter woe. My mood so low, like bleak piled upon bleak. My thoughts begin to distort, but I remain just enough in touch with reality to force myself to try thinking of the right thoughts to think, but as hard as I try, my thoughts return to the tree. My old oak, the one my thoughts tell me, has seen its last spring. I become aware of the voice in the room. It appears that it's me talking to me. My voice a doleful plea. I'm telling myself, indeed, this is the year my tree will go. The year it truly will not come back to me. I'll have to look elsewhere to find the sense of safety I need. That I find only sitting beneath the tree, shaded, hidden as I crouch out of sight of the house. But I was wrong again, it seems. I really should stop listening to me. Once more comes the spring, in and of itself, a splendid, miraculous thing. And again, just when I'm certain of it, will not. The tree sprouts its first bud in the form of a light, small, tight green knot. Yes, yeah, some years have been less difficult when the tree didn't fill my thoughts. That it was bad, bad more years than not. This, this past year, the worst, filled with such pain, such fraught, yet maybe I needed the pain was meant to have thought, because the pain, it has gifted me with a lesson I so needed to be taught, a lesson that's led me back to this window by the oak. I think I've learned well, learned the power of hope, also of faith, of trust, and of love. Now I, too, grow steady. Trusting, knowing my strength comes from above. And even though, the, even through dark winter nights and cold winter days, with head covered and hands gloved, I will stand straight as my oak, strong yet softness, compassion will shine from my gaze. I will cling to all I have learned. My love I will give freely, and love I shall gain in return. My faith will sustain me, keep me, knowing I trust that my help comes from above. Fear no longer has quarter, no station here. The Lord is my light, my keeper. So tell me, who shall I fear? Wow. That was beautiful, Cynthia. What the fuck? Beautiful, Cynthia. Wow. Yay. Oh, I love great pieces like that. My gosh. Every piece we've read today has been absolute, just so everyone knows. Every piece has been gorgeous. We've really been very, very lucky today and gotten really amazing pieces. Um, I have right. a piece that I did. Um, her name is Poetry Effie, and she, um, I actually read her in my Purge Your Story Time last time I was doing that, and her stuff is literally, like, it's nuts. It's tongue-twisting. It's 
very, very intricate. I like Robin's stuff too. Like I read her and I'm like, 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 you know. And mm -hmm. This one is uh, beautiful. I love it. It's called Love's Chaos, poetry by F. B. Love is a fragrant tension, an elusive fluid structure, an organism marked by chaos, lost within a matrix of emotion, flowing through my veins, oscillating between my mortal point of origin. It burns through tangerine and pink sunsets, ricocheting between our points of strength, often electrifying our weaknesses. Love makes but one promise. There's only one me to the power of you. This is what makes us true. Our fallback hinges on love's default in truth. Oh. Um, yeah, that was called Love's Chaos. She's really, really amazing. And like I said, oh, sorry, I cracked the net. Um, she's got some serious tongue twisters, like, brrr, like I can't even do it. This one um, I'm going to read to really quickly before you go on because it is just so good. He dazzled me unto heights where a simple breeze redeems me free. Service my heart heart immersed in crimson shaded rainbow patter serves me endless cups of tea derived naughty tussled tangerine rabbits holding incessant chatter over summits high beguile the queen of hearts true habits for she redeems us when the end is nigh fear not of poor sweet innocent alice for her quickening heart perchance precludes photosynthesis within sunlit golden lands and looking glasses smoke-filled former platitudes that's the type of stuff she writes. She's amazing. Poetry by Effie. I featured her last week and like, yeah, people loved it. Yeah, I've read her work before. It's, it's really well written. It, well, it's, I'm, it's really, it's sort of, like I am tripping over half the stuff she's writing. Like, and some of it is so micro. Like I ha I can't even read it unless I'm on my computer. And she also um sonnet sort of the old English, the sonnet way. Like she does some sonnety type stuff. Like Mike Dennis, he is the Sonic King, which I will read one of his pieces if we have some time. Um but she has a piece called Love Notes. Um, do you have anything? Yes, I have Cosmic Doctor Bunny. Go for it. The caption says, For the what someone wouldn't know about me prompt. Ooh, cool. Okay. This cosmic doctor funny. For when the day is done and I leave you, this candle burns a different hue. The horizon tears into a different view. The morning is stale, but the night is new. I can peel away my angelic nukes, paint my mouth in a bloodier rouge. I can strip away my morning rouge, pull at my hair and let them loose. My hips swaying to another tune, strap on my heels, pull my corset close. I can escape into a different room. Reeking of leather, lace, and my perfume, finding him there, lying blindfold and tied, asking me, Mistress, are you back inside? And I can gather my whip tongue at the door and say, Yeah, are you ready for more? Mm. Wow. Great stuff, man. What was your interpretation of that? Huh? What was your interpretation of that? Um, I like to ask that occasionally of people. Like when they send me pieces and I'm like, okay, well, when you wrote this and you sent it to me, where was your head? Like, where were you going? Because I can take, like, we can write stuff. We can write whatever we write. And, you know, it's just our brains going from our hand to our pen and we write it. And it's our perception. 
but I like to know what other people's perceptions also of what has been read or what's being read or what they're sending me. Um, given that it was written for the What You Don't Know About Me prompt, yeah. uh, my interpretation of all of it was that um, on the surface, you may seem like you are very pure and innocent, but get a little bit below the surface and things are not always the way they seem. And sure, yeah. That's, that's how I feel. Powerful yeah. woman hiding inside of there. Yeah. Like that. Okay. So I have a piece that I'm going to read from Alias Jane Poetry, and she is some that I found through a um, a uh, book that we were actually a part of, an anthology, and she was one of the writers in it. As a matter of fact, a lot of my friends that I talk to a lot now were in that same book. Um, and uh, she's just awesome. And that's one thing that I don't, I'd like to, um, I really love to give people that don't have, a, and I'm in no way have like a huge platform, I mean, but I have more followers than some of my friends. So if someone's really good, if someone is an excellent writer and they're not getting like the, the readings and the coverage and being seen, I really like to give them the platform. I like to um, can't hear you. Hey, Ananda, can't hear you. Ananda, can't hear you. Okay, she comes back soon. Okay. It's not you, Robin. It's just that, like, the entire world is on live right now. The entire world. And then others. I'm back. Welcome back. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, as I was liberty gibbeting my my words as I do, like being, you know, me, saying that you know I don't have the biggest following, but I don't. Um, I, I like to give other people um, a chance to be heard that that aren't being heard. So when I will find. A a writer that I think is absolutely insanely incredible will help them by, um, you know, posting them my stories, occasionally featuring them. Now that I'm doing my Purge Story Time, I'll be reading a lot of their works um, because I am a big believer in elevation. When you elevate others, you elevate yourself. It is a huge, huge cock. I should say cosmic um, way of being that lit it, it works it works and it really feeds your soul when you're doing something nice and something good for someone else so that's what I do I try and find people that don't have the biggest following or a ton of followers or being read a lot and I feature them a lot and I you know hopefully help them in some way because um this is amazing and I love her to pieces and she's she's really good and she's got quite a many um, followers and fans now but she's great um, her name is alias Jane poetry I call her lady Jane when I talk to her anyway cannon fodder was our marriage laid destruction brought with hurt hand made in this cold place my bones afraid of you beloved renegade my nerves, my very spirit frayed, 
Lo, no, no longer the wife you wish had stayed. Into the night I hide and fade, watching all my fears cascade. To change what has been lost, I prayed. Nothing I could or would not trade. Night upon night, through dreams I wade. Along the muddied misery parade, our future the fates chose to evade. All that I have lost decayed. I have become your lady retrograde. Alias J. She's so good. I love that. All of her pieces are really cool like that. And a lot of her pieces are a little shorter, so they're like, you know, um, I love the hard hitting power pieces. I do, I love, but occasionally, like when I'm doing my purge your story time, I want a long read, something I can really get into. But um, her pieces are really powerful and they, they, they really give us punch, which is why I love her so much. Um, do you uh, have a PC? I do not. Okay. Send me your um, work. Send <laughs> your work, please. Um. Yeah, I have I I have like the pieces that I read, and then underneath mm -hmm. that, like if I get into my my phone, which I obviously can't. I could get underneath what what I have I had nineteen people send me stuff, but oh, for wow. some. Yeah, but for some reason my computer's not letting me um, go into the bottom part of my messages. It's only letting me read the top. It's just gotta get this fixed. This is ridiculous. It's a brand new freaking. We're gonna have apple. to go in about ten minutes. Me okay. personally. I yeah. Got a message from that mother. My son's gonna get Rammy in in about that time so um i will oh. read a sonnet by mike dennis yay amazing. robin sent me a piece yay yay <laughs> uh, we'll read hers first then i'll go okay <laughs> Yep, no one sent me something, so I'm gonna read you, Robin. <laughs> you, Robin. Uh -huh. yeah. Ooh, I like this. It's called My Word Therapy. Some days I feel like I'm suffocating. I can feel the restriction closing in, my esophagus swelling. My hands desperately clasping and clawing at my throat. The oppressive oxygen denying me of what I seek. A burning fire ignites within my chest cavity. I am left breathless with sting stinging eyes and a bitter tongue. The drudgery that demands for each inhale and exhale, creating such exhaustion, requiring to be more work unnecessary. Anxiety, depression, insecurities, fear, loneliness. All of these superfluous depictions that describe my daily dose of cranial bile. Each time the name is different, but the feelings are consistent. Let me just slip into the scenery, fade into black, and no one will be the wiser. I feel like we may have all been there at one point or another. I love that imagery. Yeah. She always just, uh... I honestly, there are... Okay, so she is one of the writers that, um, <laughs> in the same category as some of these that I bought in. And I'm like, how do they go to that place? You know, how do they get yeah. them go so deep? 
And that's what I've been really focusing on lately and myself is trying to dig deeper into my psyche and say, okay, I need to think a little bit more on the poetic side of things rather than just telling the story or just t- saying a piece or whatever. Um, and it's hard to go there sometimes. It really is. But um, I try to... Um, this is For me, I feel like process. I almost have to stop this off. Yeah. Go yeah, ahead. Um, say it again. Go ahead. Okay. This is a piece by um, Mike Dennis Five and Words of Drifting. They did a piece together. We lie here hidden amongst the tall grass in each other's arms, a dream as hearts touch, and seek to fly beyond your mocking sass with such hope and wishes your nose I'll smutch. As I caress the face of love, it's clear. My world now so lost within paradise, I'll be bound to thy truest love, sincere. The purest of love's heart we sacrifice. Doth not sun bear witness to this day? The birds take note, each word softly whisper. Just moonlight silhouettes, light drifts away. Gentle ambios whimper. I confess my love that binds words away. I'm sorry. I confess my love that binds worlds away as somewhere in a distant land you lie. My steps linger on cobbled parterre, watching pink-hued hydrangeas springingly dance, a fluttering butterfly softly kiss, enticing petals to lure a glance. A curling zephyr makes shadows of fronds of palms. On vacant walls, a graffiti of memories beguile. O oh, beauteous love, to hide moments born. On dewy grass, fond memories fumble, stumble. A smile escapes, a thought mask. Entwined in arms, hope does bask. A silent, black remote tears slip. Promises whispered and sighs sleep. My love, such sweetness, your loving bring is waft of lavender mingles with earthy moss. The smell of you, memories touch the cooing of doves in distant branch. A longing of sudden sound seeks to stir awake. Me from my reverie allure, a last bygone moment's stay. On a pedestal adorn, for you are away. And heart aching, piping, hope slumber. Scented candles on darkened night lay in the caved belly burn. Bereft, bereaved, burning, O oh, sweet love. A waning moon craves the luminescence of silver orb. I totally love stunning. Oh, wow, that imagery. Like, I'm sorry, I, like, love some of your words. Mm. Next, I'll read it first so it's not so cold because your writing is so incredibly, like, brrr. And I am a flippity gibbet. So, anyways, that was mm. one of the drifting five into bed together. Awesome piece. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Anything else from you, Z? Uh, no, I don't have anything else. Um, yeah, sorry, uh, Sonny, we read your piece, like, in the, towards the beginning of this, um, hour. So, you can go back and check the live. Um, but I just got a text from my mother saying that she needs me. So, um, I need to go. Okay, sweetie. Well, this was awesome. It was so much fun. Thank you, everyone. Wait, hold for, on. Um, hold on. Uh, Robin just said to read Bunny one more time, so we'll do that before we head out. Okay, cool. Yeah. So this was uh, sent by Cosmic Dr. Bunny for the What Someone Wouldn't Know About Me prompt. For when the day is done and I leave you, this candle burns a different hue, the horizon tears into a different view, the morning is stale but the night is new, 
I can peel away my angelic news, paint my mouth in a bloody rouge. I can strip away my morning rouge, pull at my hair and let them loose, my hips swaying to another tune, strap on my heel, pull my corset close. I can escape into a different room, reeking of leather, lace, and my perfume. Find him there, lying blindfolded and tied, blindfolded and tied, asking the mistress, are you back inside? I can gather my wit hung at the door and say, yes, are you ready for more? Yeah. <laughs> Amazing. Awesome piece. Guys, the pieces that you guys sent in were amazing. I'm sorry I had some bitchy issues with my computer, um, but I did get to read at least um, half of the pieces I was sent. And what I'm going to do next time is we will post this a little bit earlier, but I like to post, I mean, it makes sense to post that day of because it stays fresh in your mind when we're gonna be on, what time we're gonna be on, what other times other people will be on. So there's a lot of people going live now, um, but I will write down, which I should have done, um, the people that sent me the pieces and what the pieces are. That way I can just, you know, go in and find them myself and not rely on the DMs and the messages, which just makes sense. Yeah. For everyone's listening pleasure. Well, thank you all for joining us. Um... We're gonna Hi, Brian. Yeah, wrap this up now. Thank you for joining us the second Thank hour. You. Feel free to check out the first hour. It's on the um, page and we'll be up with this one. Yes, definitely. Thank you. Thank you guys so much for coming in and listening and we can't next time. And um like I uh, keep sending in those pieces because and you keep sending them in and we will keep collecting and as we go I will write them down and Z will, will figure out a way to keep hers logged and we will um, and Robin does the same and so does Andy so we will get everybody's in we promise at some point we will definitely read everyone's work have a good night so thank you guys. we'll see you next time have a great day Z have a great day everyone talk thank soon you. stay safe yeah.